So then guys, um, whoever follows my channel and has been following my channel for a while will know that I used to be heavily, heavily into uh, G-Shocks, collecting G-Shocks, unboxing them, reviewing them, Instagram, YouTube, uh, various Facebook groups, which a lot of you know me from and know me on. And if you do know me well, or even you've been watching more recent videos from the last uh, 12 months or so, you all know that I have been reducing my G-Shock collection massively and I have um, been condensing and I've been on a waiting list for a very special piece and this special piece is finally in. Um, those of you who know the logo will know that that is uh, a Rolex logo and um, I have mentioned before the uh, piece I'm after and uh, yeah so I'm going to show it to you now so I thought I'd do uh, an unboxing of a uh, very different sort when uh, this channel has us in before um, and show you what I have. So very similar sort of uh, setup really to like a really premium G-Shock. I know it's a strange comparison to make but um, yeah you've got sort of a, an outer sleeve, an inner cardboard box and then a heavy uh, inner box so this is actually plastic. I do believe these used to be leather a while ago and sort of your vintage pieces might have a leather one but now it's just a leather look. So um, it's obviously green with the uh, gold emblem. Um, now I think that the uh, boxes are all the same because this actually doesn't shut. Um, it might be something to do with the size on the bracelet, it might be something to do with the, the actual depth of the case on the watch. So if I open this up, here you see we have a Sea Dweller. So um, obviously I've had this just over a week now, I got the call from the, uh, my dealer, um, authorised dealer where I live, um, to say that I, uh, my piece had come in and it was specifically for me um, so you know I, it, you cannot order a watch from Rolex you cannot really order a watch from a shop that sells Rolexes the way it works is you um, you're sort of marked on your store spend and your interaction with the store your locality to the store so if you if you didn't live in London and you tried to put your name down on a London store you wouldn't be preferential um, so you'd always better off trying to build a rapport with your local authorised dealer. Now, the one thing which is a shame is that if you live in a small town um, and you're not from a, a big town, the less watches are going to come into store. But one thing that you could say about that is if there's less watches coming into store, it's for a reason and there's less people into them. So, you know, like for like, there is just the same as the amount that go into a, a bigger store. So let's get on with this. So in the top of the box, you've got a little flap. So this is where they keep your warranty card um, in the uh, little the little case. You've got your guarantee manual, and then you've got the actual manual on how to use the watch, change the time, blah blah blah. blah. Um, a little bit of uh, explaining about different features. Uh, the first time that you buy, put the watch on, so about winding it, so on and so forth. So that all lives in the top of the box, and then actual watch itself so as I said I've had it for a couple of weeks um, and I've been wearing it so I have actually removed most of the uh, labels off it stickers um, however there are still a couple so this is the uh, the Rolex bezel protector which comes on the watch when you get it so it's just just a plastic protector and then there's a couple of um, tags as well I just wanted to give you the, the experience I got when I was in store so we remove the tags these obviously are all good um, to deal with the provenance of a Rolex and if you were ever in the need to sell it then just as you know I did with my G-Shocks I kept every single bit of tag plastic um, paper the all the packaging that came with it and I'll do the same with this so there is the watch so it's a lovely lovely watch it's seriously well made um and yeah there's a few smudges on it because i've been wearing it the uh the crown there's a lovely lovely little rolex emblem on if we get it into focus yep the bezel lovely solid crisp noise coming off that um you'll find you've got the uh the serial number down in here you've got the uh, Rolex writing around the outside now just under the um, six o'clock marker it says Swiss made 
So on the first generation, it just says Swiss made. On the new ones, apparently it says Swiss. Then it has a Rolex emblem, then it says made again. Um, so that's the Mark II of this version, which is the uh, anniversary sea dweller with the red white writing. So as you know, the red writing anniversary editions are always much more collectible. I believe they've done them with orange writing in the past as well. Um, under the right light, um, with a very keen eye and probably a magnifying glass, there is actually an, a laser etched crown um, at the six o'clock marker on the inside of the glass. And that is one of the um, ways to authenticate that it is a genuine Rolex. Um, there is a sticker on the side still, so that's just a sticker from the manufacturer with some kind of a barcode on. You've got the uh, gas helium escape valve, which is for if you've been diving and you're depressurizing. Um, then on the back, you've got the buckle and the clasp. Lift up like so. Um, this can be used quickly. You've got a quick, quick release adjustment which is really handy, you know. I know sometimes when it's hot or cold, you might need to change um, the tightness on your watch, which does occasionally happen to me. And then you have actually got also a dive extension. So that is done like so. It's a little bit tricky, actually. If you excuse me. And I'm failing to do it. YouTube fail. Uh, so we'll leave that. <laughs> Excuse me. You've got some more Rolex emblems. There's one right down there on the inner of the clasp. Um, and then you've got obviously the back of the watch, the case back. One real shame about Rolex is, in my opinion, is the uh, lack of a display case back. I know you can fit them aftermarket, but that's not something I'd be wanting to do. Um, you've got more. Rolex writing inside, all good stuff. So all of this had your stickers on. Um, and the way that Rolex apply their stickers, they are very fine. Um, as you can see there, you've got very fine stickers um, that are all over the watch. They're almost everywhere with red pull tabs. Um, the Sometimes you see the big, heavy, clear plastic stickers and you see um, blue ones and stuff there, you know, generally fake watches, um, you know, Rolex didn't put any big blue stickers or big heavy clear stickers on this. It was all very light, delicate stickers, um, which you would expect from such a manufacturer. Um, I'm really, really, really happy with this watch. Um, it's, it's an investment piece in terms of, you know, it's not going to lose any value. Whereas unfortunately G-Shocks, you know, over time they will lose a lot of value. Um, I bought them, you know, at fair prices, and I believe I've sold them at fair prices as well. I've still got a few left if you check up my eBay um, or message me on here. I can direct you to that. And you know, this is a watch which, um, hopefully, one day I'll be able to, you know, pass it on to somebody or, in a time of need, if ever I did need to, I could uh, pull resources and, you know, do what I needed to do with it. And hopefully, uh, that time won't come. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, the Rolex Sea Dweller Anniversary Edition, um, and that's my uh, latest timepiece and unboxing. So I think that's going to be it for a while for me. Um, do obviously keep checking out my channel. Um, I may get a watch in the future. I've got my eye on a, a few different watches, and depends on uh, how well I sell the rest of my G-Shocks. Depending on what I might buy, I would absolutely love to have um, a Zenith. Chronograph El Prima, they're beautiful, beautiful watches. I know there's a few different versions, so not really sure what I would get yet. But I've, at the moment, I've got a couple of Steinharts, which you can see on my channel. So I've got the Steinhardt Ocean one, um, and then I've got a titanium Steinhardt as well. And I've got a Long Jeans Moon Phase, which is a lovely, lovely watch, a really nice dress watch. And I've got um, a Bulva, a yeah, Marine Star, and a um, very basic Seiko 5 automatic and so I've got a, a few little watches now and I've still got plenty of G-Shocks which I absolutely love so uh, yeah thank you very much for uh, checking out my video checking out my channel subscribe um, if you haven't already and uh, yeah hope everybody has a, a wonderful winter and uh, yeah take care thank you